In life, you will meet two types of people. The ones who inspire you and the ones who bring you down. But in the end, you will be thanking both of them. A very warm good morning to all my dear students. Let us now recall our previous session. In our last class, we learned the meaning of nationalism, two types of protests in ideological and cultural spheres, colonial rule and growth of Indian nationalism, introduction of English education by Lord Macaulay in the year 1835 and the objectives, social reforms, founders and their ideologies, and the role of newspapers in making people aware of exploitation and violation of rights they faced. If the Indians get proper education, they will gain due respect from everyone. This was quoted by Raja Ram Mohan Roy. If both the rich and the poor get enough education, they will be able to fight unitedly against all types of atrocities and cruelties meted out to them. This was quoted by Keshav Chandra Sen. The educated are the spokesmen of change. Quoted by Veera Salinga. Here, these were the visions of various social reformers on the importance and necessity of education. Let us now discuss the role of education from the observations for the national development. Firstly, to bring about changes in the society. Second, to maintain unity. Thirdly, a tool for the future development of the society. Fourth one, the spread of English language help people to communicate in every part of the country. And finally, to gain respect from everyone. For developing a feeling of nationalism, many national educational institutions were established. These national educational institutions imparted secular education to all sections of the society. The Deccan Education Society, founded in the year 1884 in Pune by G. G. Agarkar, Bal Gangadhar Tilak and Mahadev Govind Ranade was one of such educational institutions which was established with the nationalistic views. The founders were aware that education was very important for the socio-economic and cultural progress of the nation. Many educational institutions were started after the partition of Bengal in 1905 when the Swadeshi movement initiated for the spread of national education. B.K. Karve started the first women university in Maharashtra in 1916. He was encouraged by the concept that education had an important role in women empowerment. Due to this, many educational institutions were founded in different parts of India with the objective of promoting nationalism. Objectives of promoting nationalism, opposing social evils and rejection of western education. Vishwa Bharati, the university founded by Rabindranath Tagore in Bengal, focused on universal brotherhood and aimed at a system of education that would collaborate Western and Eastern cultures. When national movement became stronger under the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi, a team led by Maulana Muhammad Ali, Shaukat Ali, Dr. Zakir Hussain and M. A. Ansari founded Jamia Milia Islamia in Aligarh with the objective to strengthen national movement through secular education. Many initiatives were taken to defend the cultural invasion and promoted traditional art. An example of such art was Kerala. Kala Mandalam in the Chirudurti village of Trishur, founded by Mahakavi Vallathol Narayana Menon. In 1937, Mahatma Gandhi put forward a special education plan called Varda Education Plan. The major objective of Varda Education Plan was vocational education. Gandhiji thought that vocational training during education would help in building up a good future. Only an educated generation would be able to defend the British. Here, 
the table shows some institutions that worked for materializing the ideas of national education firstly the ideas of secularism was spread by the institution called jamia millia islamia in aligarh the ideas of nationalism was spread by deccan education society the ideas of women empowerment was put forward by the first women university in maharashtra by d k karve the idea of internationalism was put forward by vishwa bharati university in bengal by robindranath tagore the idea of reviving traditional arts was put forward by kerala kala mandalam in cherudurthi village of thrissur by mahakavi vallathol narayana menon the idea of protesting against foreign rule and caste system was put forward by national educational institutions the protest against the british rule and social evils that existed in the indian society were reflected in indian literature the writers in various parts of india illustrated the agonies and atrocities faced by the people people who started reading started to fight their miseries sorrows collectively writers shared their feelings with people through poetry tales novels drama etc this created a sense of patriotism and anger towards the foreign dominance many patriotic songs in regional languages joined the gap between the upper class literate and the illiterate mass the concept of bharat mata was presented in public through a play written by shishir kumar ghosh and satyendranath tagore bankim chandra chatterjee a famous bengali writer adopted novel a western form of literature as a medium to put forward the plight of indian society the most notable novel of bankim chandra chatterjee is anandamat which is based on the sanyasi revolt of bengali peasants he illustrated the miseries of bengali farmers and the difference between the rich and the poor in the bengali society thus the indian society came to know the miseries of the bengalis the song bande matram is taken from the novel anandamat dinabandhu mitra a bengali writer depicted the severe exploitation suffered by the indian farmers in bengal in his play nil darpan written in bengali this play was staged in many places and greatly influenced the people surendranath banerji started a political movement and campaigned for the welfare of bengali farmers after taking a hint from the issues which was depicted in dinabandhu mitra's nil darpan the play encouraged the famous unrest in various parts of the country सारे जहां से अच्छा हिंदुस्तान हमारा द फेमस पैट्रियोटिक सॉन्ग रिटन बाय उर्दू पोएट अलामा मोहम्मद इकबाल प्रेस्ड द ब्यूटी ऑफ इंडियास नेचर एंड यूनिटी ऑफ इट्स पीपल द ग्रेट कंट्रीब्यूशंस ऑफ इंडियन राइटर्स हेल्प इन क्रिएटिंग द कांसेप्ट ऑफ यूनिटी अमंग द इंडियन पब्लिक द राइटर्स हु कंट्रीब्यूटेड देयर फीलिंग ऑफ पैट्रियोटिज्म एंड नेशनलिज्म through indian literature work the works of rabindranath tagore in bengali work ghora and geetanjali the works of premchand in hindi language work seva sadan prem ashram rangbhoomi and godan the works of subramanya bharati in tamil language work panjali shabadam kali paat kannam paat kuil paat the works of Altaf Hussein Hali in Urdu language work Hayate Sahi and Hayate Jawi the works of Vishnu Krishna Chiplunkar in Marathi language was Nibandhamala the works of Vallathol Narayana Menon in Malayalam language work Ende Gurunathan Bapuji and Indeyude Karachi the watercolor painting of Bharat Mata is by Abanindranath Tagore The painting of Bharat Mata shows giving food, clothing and knowledge to Indians. 
This painting helped to develop patriotic feelings in the minds of the Indians. Due to the influence of this painting, various artists from various parts of the country pictured Bharat Mata in various fashions along with the map of India. Abhanandranath Tagore tried to free Indian paintings from western style and promoted paintings based on Indian culture and religion. For this, he started Indian Society of Oriental Arts in Calcutta. Raja Ravi Varma from Kerala visualized various scenes from Indian epics and literature. Nandilal Bose showed scenes from Indian literature and events in history. The famous paintings of Nandilal Bose is Sati which shows the misery of a woman who was forced to commit Sati, a social evil that prevailed in India. Due to this painting, Indian hearts were touched and they protested against the social evils. Nandilal Bose's another famous painting, Village Drummer, was adopted by the Indian National Congress in 1938 as the picture for the poster of the Congress in the Hirapura session of the Indian National Congress. Amrita Shergil, a famous woman artist of India, painted the sufferings of India Indian villages in dark shades reflecting their miseries. This painting also encouraged the people to think about unified India. The pictures of national symbols also encourage the feelings of nationalism in Indian minds. The national anthem written by Rabindranath Tagore helped to create national awareness. The tricolor flag was first designed during the time of Swadeshi movement which contained eight lotuses representing eight provinces in British India and a crescent representing Hindu-Muslim fraternity. The team led by Gandhiji designed the national flag with charkha, a domestic cotton spinning wheel used in Indian villages which showed the self-dependence of Indians and their protest to colonial rule. The present tricolor flag was officially adopted in the year 1947. National emblem was adopted from Lion capital of Ashoka at Sarnath. Patriotic songs, symbols and pictures played a vital role in developing nationalistic spirit among the Indians. Thus, the passion of Indian society for freedom, equality and sovereignty were reflected in art, literature, education, journalism and social reform and it motivated Indian nationalism. Children, that's all for today. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe.